In Thursday Health Matters, the rising concerns after a tenfold increase in the number of colon cancer cases diagnosed in people under the age of 50. It points up the importance of prevention, early detection, diagnosis, and treatment. Once again, once found, though, an effective treatment for cancerous colon polyps is robotic surgery. Lots to talk about this afternoon, and we have an expert to help us with that. Joining us to explain how this robotic technique works, Dr. Craig Rezac with the VHC Health Organization. Doctor, great to have you with us. Um, let's talk about the first part of this, because it's not just uh, treatment. The important thing here is diagnosis. We want to find those potentially troubling colon uh, uh, polyps. And that's one of the reasons to go from age 50 to 45 for the initial screening. Uh, that's made a difference already, hasn't it? So thank you, Mr. Lucas, for the opportunity to talk about it. As you know, March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. And so colon cancer is a significant uh, health concern in this country. It's the fourth most common cancer, but it's also the second most common cause of cancer-related deaths. So screening is important, not just for early detection, but even more so it's for prevention. So as you correctly stated, over the last decade, we've noticed an increase of tenfold in the incidence of cancer in, in people under the age of 50. So we have traditionally been screening at 50, mm -hmm. but that age has recently been reduced to 45 because of this increase. Do we understand um, what's behind the increase? Uh, because that is an alarming thing. We're, oh, absolutely. We're so told that this is a, a, a crisis and, and that points it up right there. Absolutely. So it's, it's certainly multifactorial. Uh, environmental issues, genetic issues are all coming together. We haven't identified an exact cause, but we do know that we, we had to reduce the age of, of screening to, to at least 45. Yeah. And so that's, that's why this month is important. And, and these kinds of uh, uh, um, initiatives are also important to get out the awareness to the public. Uh, you know, even today, only 60% of people that should be screened actually get screened. And that's a significant issue. Yeah, it really uh, is. Yeah. Sc screening for colon cancer, uh, the gold standard, of course, is colonoscopy. Um, not only is it uh, uh, the gold standard, but it, it, also, it also allows us not only to diagnose, but also to be therapeutic. In other words, we can intervene on polyps, which are precancerous mm -hmm. lesions. In other words, 95% of cancer start as a polyp. If you remove the polyp during a colonoscopy, you prevent the cancer. And that's why the incidence in people over the age of 50 in the same 10 years that we saw the increase in younger people has actually declined. And that's because of the screening that we're doing. I and was fascinated. Wanna... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, but, oh, no, but please. I was fascinated when we were talking in the break uh, about the use of, of robots increasing in, in just about all areas of surgical intervention. At, at your place, um, you're doing uh, almost seven eighths of the the procedures are robotic. Explain why, in 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 your view and and in the view of your colleagues, this is a better way of doing it, of using a robot to go in there to find the polyps and get them out to excise them. Right. So when we say robot, we don't you know the technology is 21st century technology. Yes. We say robot, what we really are talking about are is a column with mechanical arms mm -hmm. and a computer interface, and the surgeon controls the entire platform. And so this technology allows us to perform complex surgeries in a minimally invasive fashion, completely minimally invasive. And so there's, there's significant advantages to the patient as far as outcomes, uh, sh less pain, shorter recovery time, uh, less time in the hospital, and if in the case, since we're talking about colon cancer, if chemotherapy is needed, shorter time to get to the mm -hmm. chemotherapy, which has been shown to be advantageous as far as long-term outcome. And mo more importantly, even still, is that the, the complication rate is significantly reduced. At our center here, we only have a, we have the complication rate down to about 4% for 30 days, which is significantly lower than national averages and traditional complication rates, are, which are around 25, 30%. We can talk about the science here, but part of the issue is sort of getting over the emotional part of it. There are a lot of people who say, I don't want to know, um, but you do want to know because this is not 
uh, uh, a, a, a death sentence in any stretch of the imagination. This is allowing people to live long and perfectly normal lives, but you have to get screened first in order to not give that cancer a chance to progress beyond just that polyp stage. Right. So again, screening for colon cancer is, is, is extremely important. And, and certainly, Mr. Lucas, like you said, there is a, a significant amount of stigma around a colonoscopy. There are other forms of screening for people at average risk, uh, people with no symptoms, no family history, no personal history of inflammatory disorders that can increase your risk. But uh, so we're talking about stool genetic testing, which is Cologuard, mm -hmm. um, certainly not as sensitive or accurate as colonoscopy. A colonoscopy is a procedure that is a same day procedure. It does re require a clean out uh, done at home, but we've, we've gotten better at that. It's certainly not pleasant, yes. but it, it's certainly tolerable. The procedure itself has anesthesia, so the person is completely comfortable during the procedure, and the whole process takes maybe one to two hours, and you go home. The advantage of a colonoscopy is that not only is it for early detection, again, like I said, it, the most important thing is it is preventative. We can identify polyps, which are the precursor to the cancer, and remove them before they cause trouble. And so we are, have been able to reduce the incidence of colon cancer in people that we've been screening. And so this is that's, preventative, and it's not that simple. And that's the take home message here is. Correct, correct. You know, I, I do this all the time and I can't tell you how many people I, I, I do colonoscopies on for the first time and they wake up and they say, Dr. Rizak, it was, it was really not a big deal. I don't know why I made such a big deal out of it. It was nothing at all. It's a very safe procedure. Um, it's very streamlined and, and really there's no, no reason not to be screened. Dr. Craig Rezac with the Virginia Hospital Center, VHC Health. Thanks so much, because the message here is not the technology. It's not the, the alarming people about the rising numbers here. It's the fact that this is a procedure that exists. It's easily done, and it saves lives. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.